Oh my God, is it hot in here? Shush. Ooh, that's better. Good afternoon. I am in the greatest mood today. That is because of two things. Number one is we've got a new pair of shoes on my feet right now. And number two, the Nando's at my local shopping centre is back open. And as it is payday today, I'm gonna treat me and my wife to some Nando's. But first, let's quickly go back in time so that you can see the shoes on my feet, you can take a look at them, and then you can decide whether it's interesting enough for you to stick around and watch the rest of the video. So, let's go back in time. Ow, 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 ow. I like the way I turn the box over as if there's some sort of massive mystery in that it's not the title of the video. But yes, I'm sitting here with a pair of new shoes. These shoes are potentially the most polarizing shoe of 2020 so far. This was a shoe that I think the majority of people hated. When it was announced, it was trashed. When it was released, the comments weren't great, but I liked them. And that is, of course, the Yeezy 380. And I'm sure you know the colorway. Well, you do know the colorway because it is in the title. I don't know how many times I have to tell myself. It's the Blue Oats. I went in on this shoe on a number of raffles, Offspring, uh, End, um, I think sneakers and stuff. There's definitely one more. I lost on all of them. So there was clearly some hype still behind them. However, a notification came through from the Yellow Drop, which is Selfridges in London. They were doing a second chance raffle, which they do every now and then, where you can go on their app, you can sign up for the raffle, and then you'll be notified within a couple of hours whether you've won. I went in for that raffle, fully expecting to take the fifth or sixth L of the day, but it came good. I got that notification from Selfridges to say that I had won, time to pay, time to get them in my hands, sun was shining, birds were chirping, and I got a Yeezy dub. So it's time to take a look at the Yeezy 380 Blue Oats and this is probably the point in the video where the comments are either going to be like oh, that is absolutely disgusting Bob, what the hell are you doing? Or some people might be like me and go, yeah, I like them. Let's take a look. I mean it's in a standard 380 Boost Yeezy box as I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> Oh, I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I know the abuse I'm going to get in the comments, but these are fire, in my opinion. Here they are. Yeezy 380 Blue Oats. And I know that a lot of people um, say the same sort of thing, including myself, about Yeezys. It always kind of feels like the same rehashed colorways. Um, so this is definitely out there. It's definitely different. And I understand it's polarised and I understand it's not for everyone. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly take a closer look at them, then I'll stick them on feet so you can see what they look like, but I'm happy.
love them even more. I just think it's such a, a unique colorway, it's so different. Yeah, it's not gonna be for everyone. Yeah, it's probably gonna get still some people giving me the old sick emojis, but I love them. I'm happy to have them as part of the collection. Um, if you are still looking for them, because I believe they are still sitting in some places, um, and if they are, or if you're looking to, to buy them on resale, I would suggest, as always with Yeezys, going at least a half a size up. I know some people that go a full size up because they are really, really narrow around the um, around the toe box. So I'm usually a UK 8.5. I bought a UK 9, and they are just so cosy. They are, you know, this is my favourite um, Yeezy silhouette. This is the 380. I just, I just love it. I love the alien colourway I've got as well. So comfortable, but yeah, definitely at least half a size or a full size up. Anyway, now we've got them on feet. Let's go get that Nando's. Oh, so welcome back. So anyone that sticks with this video, despite seeing the shoes and didn't like them, you are a real one. And I thank you for that. Just over there, look, what looked like in the car park, there was some, what looked like some rides, some little roller coaster. Oh, I've definitely got to go and check that one out as well. Little note to self, driving into a undercover not underground, but dark car park with your sunglasses on. I might as well have had my eyes shut. has found it. Let's, uh, let's go see what, what rides we can do. Taking a little look around. I think we've got to go on that family coaster. I think that's the only one that has caught my fancy right now. We bought our tokens. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. Let's go and do that roller coaster. Over there. Let's go. Alright. So here we go. Yeah, I'm the only one on it. It's gonna get a little lively here. Oh. 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 Oh, mate. We've got the drop coming. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Cheers. Ooh. We got it done. 
Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Yes, we have secured the goods. Probably the biggest dub of the year, maybe. Either way, can't let it get cold, so I'm heading back. Let's go. which I love and are extremely comfortable. Um, we've been on a white knuckle thrill ride that is Family Coaster, which was an experience. And I've just noticed that walking on the sand at that little amusement park, probably not the greatest idea. So I'm gonna go and give these a wipe down, but thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to anyone who has already liked the video. Um, anyone who has subscribed um, and all that lovely stuff as I always say it means the world to me and um, yeah I will um, I'll see you on the next one <laughs>